All right, guys, so we got to talk about a bombshell video that, of course, will be covered up by the mainstream liberal media because it does not fit the narrative regarding January 6th, which, you know, the mainstream liberal media, they love talking about, okay? They love talking about January 6th when it comes to Trump's alleged role in starting the riot that he actually didn't start, right? He actually said, hey, peacefully protest, right? Peacefully, he said it, it's in the transcript. But, you know, hey, you know, he's being, you know, charged, okay? He is being punished for allegedly inciting this riot that should not have happened in the first place, okay? And we're finally getting some answers regarding why this riot happened. Why was this even allowed to happen in the first place? Because that's what happened. It was allowed to happen, and who knows? Maybe it was actually incited, just not by the president of the United States. Maybe it was actually the deep state who we know uh, was actively working against Trump during his presidency. OK, I mean, we know that uh, the reason why they're going after Trump is because he is a threat to the establishment. And this bombshell video from Tucker Carlson uh, that never aired. OK, Fox never aired it for whatever reason actually is an interview between ex capitol Police Chief Stephen Sudd, who basically is going to sound the alarm on how he believes uh, officials were aware of the January 6th um, insurrection, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, they were aware that it was going to happen before it happened, and they covered it up. And I want to play this clip because, again, this clip right here uh, really does give credibility to the idea that January 6th truly was a setup against the former president of the United States. Take a look. And again, we know from the testimony of the FBI director that there were intelligence, whatever you want to call them, operatives, people who were in contact with mm -hmm. the FBI were in the crowd that day, you know, not identified as such. Would that information have reached you? Would you know about that? So it... it, it it's interesting you ask that because within a few days of January 6th, I had a media reach out to me and go, hey, you were FBI had undercovers in the uh, crowd. I was like, oh, no, they would have told me. I had I had Steve Dan Bono that had watched the field box on a call the day before. Didn't say anything to me about it. And now to see that they allegedly, according to the GAO report, had 18 operatives in the crowd, that's a lot of operatives. So and when you look at the intelligence January 6th, was handled differently than any of those big events that we talk about, especially for a big event that we see now, the threat stream that was associated with it. You know, whether it was IMF World Bank, you remember the, the 2000 Very, very IMF, well. Pretty I was violent. there for that. Yeah. The 2000, um, uh, the Bush inaugurations, the violence with that. Um, we would have had an executive briefing with the FBI, would have been called into a skiff, the, the, all the local chiefs saying, hey, this is the type of stuff we're seeing. There would have been a, what's called a jib, a joint intelligence bulletin. Which None of that was done this time. No conference call. I mean, it would have been an, it would have been usual for FBI to host a, a regional conference call. But you think 18 is a lot for that kind of event? I, I think so. I mean, I, I, I was telling so in the fact that we weren't aware. And I think DHS is now saying they had a uh, number of uh, uh, HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, uh, people in there as well. So sounds like a number of the intelligence agencies had resources uh, in the crowd. So it was in... In the parlance of the internet, it was crawling with feds. I would say there was a, there was a fair amount of law enforcement in the crowd. That's what, that's what it now appears when you have the 18, and I think uh, DHSI said they had 20, possibly, possibly 20 out there, if not more. Uh, that starts turning into a lot of people. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No, I have not. Not, not that many. Not, not for a major event in Washington, D.C., uh, down in the mall. I might expect to see, you know, uh, Secret Service may have some undercovers, yeah, FBI may have a couple, you know, MPD may have a couple, but nothing like that. That's a lot. Yeah, so here we have the former Capitol Police chief who, you know, the mainstream liberal media is not interested in talking to, by the way, right? They're totally interested in talking to the people at the bottom, right, who don't call any shots, okay? Uh, yeah, let's talk to those people all day, okay, even though they don't really have anything interesting to say, okay? But they don't want to really talk to this guy, okay? A guy who, in this leaked footage here, uh, says, hey, I'm not a conspiracy guy, but I'm concerned about the way January 6th played out, okay? Uh, this guy said that he was denied National Guard service in advance of the attack, 
It was also denied access to National Guard troops for 71 minutes during the fight. Now, this guy says that, hey, it appears to be a cover-up. I wasn't even told that there were intelligence officials in the crowd, right? They were in the crowd, intelligence official, 18 of them, allegedly, 18. The former Capitol Police chief wasn't told. He wasn't told anything, right? Why was that? Why was this guy denied National Guard help, okay? Why was his request, annoyed? why was he left in the dark? It's because they wanted this to happen, right? They wanted the... January 6th protests, despite Trump saying protest peacefully, they wanted it to get violent in order to set up the president of the United States to lead to where we are right now, right? Which is him being indicted over things related to January 6th and leading up to January 6th. It was all a part of the plan, right? But again, the mainstream of media said, oh, it's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Okay, they, they dragged Joe Rogan through the mud. When he basically schooled a liberal comedian on what happened on January 6th or alternative theories for what happened on January 6th, you know, with Ray Epps and, you know, uh, people who, you know, a lot of people believe were, you know, feds, right? Who were caught on camera inciting more violence, right? Telling people to enter the Capitol or break into the Capitol. You had other people that were around him saying, no, we're not doing that. We don't want to do that. What are you talking about? This guy's a fed, right? He's trying to get us in trouble. You have videos of Capitol Police officers letting the protesters into the Capitol, giving them a tour, sponsored by Capitol Police and Nancy Pelosi, right? Come on in. Take a dump on Nancy Pelosi's desk. We're going to make sure we get it all on camera of you guys just walking around the Capitol, getting a tour. And then we're going to frame it as if this was the most violent riot we've ever seen. We've never seen anything like it. These people almost took over the Capitol, right? A bunch of guys who showed up that have no guns, right? No central planning. Yeah, they, they, they actually were a legitimate threat to take over the government is what the, the mainstream liberal media wants you to believe. But again, the more information that we get about this, the more obvious it becomes that it was a setup, that they wanted this protest, which was just a protest about the election results. They went out of their way to try to make sure that it became violent as a way to frame the president of the United States. It seems to me that this was a government operation. But again, you know, for whatever reason, the mainstream media, they don't want to talk about it. Even Fox News doesn't want to talk about it. What does it say about Fox News? That they had this, and allegedly, Tucker Carlson was fired for this. Tucker Carlson was fired, a part of the reason why he was fired was, was for the January 6th stuff, for him questioning the narrative. When this man is sitting out having conversations like a real journalist, with a former Capitol Police officer who was running things, right? He's running, he's running everything. He's running the operation. Right? And he he's telling Tucker Carlson straight up, yeah, there were operatives. There were operatives in the crowd. And I was told I was left in the dark. When I requested help, they was like, nah, you ain't getting no help. We're gonna let this happen. <laughs> right? Left completely in the dark. But Fox News decided not to air it. What does that say about Fox News? Controlled opposition. <laughs> right? So it seems. So it seems because if they was about getting down to the truth. They would have aired this instead of letting their guy get dragged by the liberal media as some type of conspiracy theories when he, this guy's actually doing real journalism, something that you rarely see on these other networks. It's amazing how that works. Again, the conspiracy theorists were right, right? Here's another point for the conspiracy theorists. Again, like I said, in 2023, in our current politics, right? Um... Things that are presented as facts by the liberal media are actually conspiracies, right? They're going to be conspiracies in the future, almost guaranteed. And the things that are deemed to be conspiracies by the mainstream liberal media are actually facts, right? They're going to be facts 
in the future. Okay, that, that's where we're at in politics. The conspiracy guys seem to be more in tune with reality and facts than the media, right? Which again, they're the ones that are supposed to be the arbiters of truth. We're supposed to listen to them when they continuously and routinely get it wrong while smearing the guys who are getting it right as conspiracy theorists. Amazing. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.